companies have been making really shallow changes to their products recently to attempt to not get canceled, to attempt to not get the hate mobs to come after them on social media. Obviously, it only works half of the time, but Blizzard specifically has been trying really hard to no avail. They've tried to put out statements on their Twitter account saying, we stand for positive change and we stand with people who have used their voices during these trying times, when in the past they've censored esport players like Blitzchung for making simple statements. By the way, free Hong Kong, but no one really took their posts seriously when they said they wanted to try to strive for positive change because this is Activision Blizzard that we are talking about. The only thing that they care about is their bottom line. But they decided to start making changes to their games in an attempt to look good in the eyes of consumers. They're taking action against what they've deemed to be offensive content in their game, starting with Overwatch's own McCree by removing his new spray. I'm an Overwatch player. I've played the game for a very long time, and the whole spray system is used maybe 5% of the time by the player base. It's definitely cool when you get a new unique spray, but 95% of the time, no one gives a singular fuck about using sprays. And Blizzard had some employee look over all of their games, and they decided this. This is what we've got to do. The removal of this spray is single-handedly going to make us money. And boy, were they wrong and is this coming back to bite them in the ass? So I wanted to read this Collider article in particular because first of all, it gives us the information that we need, but just because of how out of touch it is, they are talking about a video game when they have no clue what this video game is about. So they're basically resorting to saying, well, only bad people are angry about this change. So Overwatch, McCree's new spray gets swapped and people are big mad about it. Overwatch has been around since 2016, and so has the Wild West-themed cowboy McCree. He's been shooting up the competition as a damage type for the last few years, notably as one of the easiest characters for newcomers to pick up when starting in on the hero shooter. Pfft. Boy, are they wrong with that one. But with the popularity comes increased scrutiny, especially in a year when social issues have risen to the forefront of the daily news cycle. So it's no surprise that a questionable aspect of McCree's character assets have been changed by Blizzard Entertainment, and it's equally unsurprising that some people are mad about it. One of McCree's unlockable sprays, or decals that players can use in-game, has long been a noose. Some claim it fits in with his Wild West aesthetic, though most folks rightfully point out that yeah, it's for hanging folks. There's really no other use for it. So in 2020, the virtual noose spray is going bye-bye, replaced with a bad luck horseshoe. It's not the best change. Some level-headed folks in the comments pointed out that Blizzard could have opted for a lasso instead but it's a necessary one, especially if other players are being harassed or bullied through its use in-game. I do not think that I have ever, not once, seen someone try to harass another player by using sprays in the game. You would think that most of the time they would just use voice chat if they really wanted to offend them, not using a spray in-game that you have to spray against a wall. If you are playing the game and actually doing what the game is supposed to be about, which which is shooting people, by the way, uh, you're not staring at a wall. And that's another point that I want to make. We are talking about removing a fictional noose from a video game when the video game is a first-person shooter and is about eliminating other teams and eliminating other players. You would think that they would complain that maybe this game shouldn't exist because it's violent, but no, we're not going to go after the essence of the game. We're just going to go after a single fictional spray in the game. 
Now, this is actually how it was announced that these changes were made, though. People were posting it to social media. Blizzard put it in their patch notes for Overwatch's newest update and went on their way. People were posting in today's update. The Overwatch McCree news spray has been removed and replaced with the bad luck spray. And the article finishes off with, but it doesn't end there. Fans and critics of the game alike are now turning their attention to the police skins for characters Bridget and diva. The characters are seen, divisively so, as both proud representations of their nation's law enforcement and examples of glorified and militarized police brutality. Overall, the game essentially pits elites, super-powered world police against each other in an endless cycle of violent, murderous fashion for fun, so Blizzard has the option of either staying quiet and making these small, half-measures, or actively rethinking their game's core story and how it fits into an increasingly volatile real world. We are talking about fictional characters in fictional worlds. We're not talking about characters that are meant to represent real people or the real world. We're talking about fictional characters here. I think that it is ridiculous that people are calling for police-esque or military-esque skins in games to be removed. This is a first-person shooter that we're talking about about. If they really cared about the violence this game promotes, then maybe they should be complaining about the whole game and the essence of the gameplay and not a singular spray. Which, let's be honest, that would be absolutely ridiculous. Some of the largest money-making games are first-person shooters, and it's many people's favorite game genre. It's just a video game. It's really not that serious, but that is all that I had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down down below. Do you think that it is ridiculous that they removed this noose spray from the game, or do you think that it's perfectly fine? If you enjoyed this video and found it important, please make sure to give it a like and share it, and of course, if you did not, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.